Okay, everyone, so today we're doing a Clash Royale video, um, my favorite deck. It's the deck I've been playing for years now. I've been, well, that's not completely true. I've been slightly tweaking this deck for years, and I'm a free-to-play player, so I don't have that many cards at very high levels in Clash Royale, despite that this account is like six years old. So basically what I've been doing is just focusing on these main eight or so cards and trying to get those to be a very high level. And that's really allowed me to climb ladder. So I basically just come up with a very, very balanced deck to counter a whole lot of what you'll face in this high, like 5,500 trophies. I've just focused on upgrading the cards as high as I can really get them. And that basically involves just saving up to 100,000 gold now over and over and over again. So in the most current version and probably the best version of this deck that I've ever had, I use the Electro Wizard, Baby Dragon, Skeleton Army, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Valkyrie, Tesla, Log, and Ice Spirit. All of which are at least level 12 cards. Most of them are kind of more like level 13 or level 14. Actually only one's level 14. But most of them are level 13 ready to go to level 14. One more thing, this deck has an average elixir of 3.3 and a lot of 4 elixir cards here. And the idea with this deck is it's very defensive. It's not even that much fun of a deck to play if I'm being completely honest. But you basically just want to keep on cycling those four elixir cards and play more defensive for the most part. So in this video here, these are two pre-recorded games I did earlier in the day. But um, what we're going to be doing here, one of the games turns out to be a very defensive one where I just kind of tried to chip down the tower and the other one is a lot more offensive, which is more rare with this deck, but it shows you two very different play styles that this deck works well for. So we match up against a person with 5,248 trophies, so just in League 1 here, the season reset recently. But what I like to do is start off um, usually just playing a card at the back if um, I'm reaching 10 elixir. So what I do is I put the Ice Spirit down just basically to cycle and then log just again to cycle. And what I like to do here when they put a few around 4 or 5 elixir cards together is just throw the Valkyrie in the middle. You can usually get a huge elixir gain on that. And the whole idea with this deck, you can see it works very well here, is you wanted to get that mini P.E.K.K.A on the tower. There are other ways to win with this deck. It's a lot more chippy though, so for example just using that baby dragon, the e -Wiz, those work, although you're probably going to need more of like the whole three minutes. So what I do is basically just try and sneak the mini P.E.K.K.A through, so if you can catch them on low elixir, especially if you can predict the log, that's huge, and that will usually get you the win right there. So we get a very, very good start to this game here. Um, we're a minute in and we have one of their towers and they basically don't have any damage yet. This here wasn't <laughs> the best play, it is a 3 for 3 trade, although normally that would be a log. Um, but it wasn't in my cycle. Also, they have their Goblin Barrel, so I have to keep that ready. So, what you want to do with this deck is, unless you're trying to 3 crown, which I don't recommend with this deck, what you want to do here is once you get one tower, if you can get a huge lead like this, you just want to turtle the rest of the game. So pretty much just keep defending whatever they throw at you. This deck is incredibly defensive, and if you play very well with it, you can probably stop them from getting like almost any damage. The only thing is they have that princess there, so they're going to chip a little bit, but it's not going to be enough for them to get my tower, spoiler alert, within two minutes. So yeah, basically what you're doing is you're just cycling your log and ice spirit, and then you just want to keep going between these three and four elixir cards here. And those are very, very good at pretty much stopping any card they throw at you, unless it's a tank. But if they throw a tank, you have a mini P.E.K.K.A. As long as it's not like a P.E.K.K.A. or anything, you can distract with this deck. You basically have all the tools that you need to stop any kind of push they throw at you. So what you can see here is I'm letting them not build up. Every time they put something down at their bridge, I'm just trying to like clog it up. Not let them get anything started here. And how do I just kind of maintain pressure on them so that they also can't build up when they don't play at the bridge? I just keep playing my cards at the back so they walk up. I can keep my elixir going efficiently. Um, they do catch me off guard here with the Goblin Barrel a little bit. I kind of messed up with the e a little there, but it's not anything too major. We still have this one in the bag at this point. Um, and yeah, so pretty much we just played a Skeleton Army at that point, and we just played a very defensive game. We got a super good start there, and that basically just secured the win in the first minute. Alright, so we're going to get into game 2 in just a second here, but um, 
Hopefully these commentaries haven't been too bad. Uh, it's my first time ever trying to commentate over a Clash Royale game, but if I do this more and more, I'm sure I'll get better at it. Hopefully it's not unbearable to listen to though. But again, starting off this game, this is the more aggressive one, although I pretty much start every game with just a card at the back just to cycle my elixir. They are leaking a lot of elixirs you can see here, so what I do... Oh, there's a goblin barrel, actually I forgot about that. What I like to do though is I usually do push my uh, Valkyrie up with the mini P.E.K.K.A behind it if I can. In this case I didn't, but that is a common play, just a heads up. Would recommend doing that as long as you're making sure that you're not about to get burned on the other lane. So, again, just dropping cards at the back here. Um, yeah, see, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> but no, the baby dragon we'll use here just to take out um, the minion horde. That My deck counters a minion horde very, very well. You'll always get up on elixir with this deck on a minion horde. So, this one, it starts off with more of the chip style. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, pretty typical defensive game here. So just letting them kind of do their pushes here. I kind of messed up with that log. But we're just stopping their E-Dragon. Is that what they call it? No, wait. <laughs> we're just stopping their Inferno Dragon and um, then letting our Electro Wizard push up. They don't realize how much damage that thing actually does being level 14. That Ice Spirit play was dumb. I don't know why I did that because it doesn't kill the princess, so don't do that. <laughs> Bats here, I think I did place a baby dragon, or I might have just let them hit that. Yeah, it's one hit from a bat, not a big deal. But as you can see here, we are in a fantastic position to stop them. Or sorry, to win this game. This, I kind of screwed up on, because I let that goblin barrel do a lot of work. I should have probably done the log first, and then the e -wiz. that's okay. Or at least just threw the e -wiz down and quickly got the log off. But again, they don't play against the e -wiz and it just takes a ton of damage out of their tower, or sorry, a ton of health out of their tower. So I use this defense again here, just play the skeleton army and use the Tesla to support it. Just get that extra damage in there and for something, and for the prince to target. Electro Wizard goes in and chips the tower again, Baby Dragon also did that on the left side. So this gets a little bit tough, we don't have the Electro Wizard, but by the time the Inferno Dragon gets going, my tower's already killed it, even though it's killed our Tesla, not a big deal. So I throw the Ice Wizard in, or sorry, the Ice Spirit in, and I was just gonna probably chip that down with a log, but I didn't even defend the Electro Wizard. At this point, they've just given up. And we just throw all our cards in up top, and that's what a three crown looks like with this deck. So it still does involve more of the chip style of game there, you can see. That's how you're going to be playing this deck. It's so rare that you can just completely take out a tower very quickly with this deck, like you would with maybe like a big uh, tank push. But um, yeah, nonetheless, it's a very effective deck if you play a defensive-minded style, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. And it is still possible to 3-crown, although probably like... 1 in 20 games I 3 crown with this deck. So, kind of like what I was saying there, you can see I have some card mastery badges for a few other cards there, but I really do just focus on these 8 or so cards. And that's what's really allowed me to get them to a high level, even though I'm a free to play player. So, if you can find a deck that you really like and you're finding a lot of success with, especially at higher trophy levels, or just across different trophy levels, like let's say you're in mid ladder and you're pushing up a lot with it, I would focus on probably just trying to, uh, upgrade those cards as much as you can and that should help get you into the higher trophies because a lot of the time as a free to play player you're just getting out leveled um, like there will be times where I play somebody when I was like level 11 they'd have a level 13 or 14 king tower I couldn't play uh, or I could play as well as I wanted to but just no chance I'd win that because level 14 Mega Knight and stuff just completely destroying my tower yeah, that's gonna do it for this video here. Again, the commentary might have been pretty rough. It's been a while since I've done commentary altogether, and I've never done it for Clash Royale. But yeah, I think that's everything for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.